Marla, the mother, says that she wants to speak out not with hatred, not with anger, but rather with a call for a better understanding of mental illness. She says her daughter is now out of surgery and she is against all odds starting to turn a quarter with a positive attitude, no less. She is exceptional. And I'm not just saying that as the mom. Ask anyone that knows her. She's exceptional. That's Amy Watts, mother of 24-year-old Kylie. Kylie had only been living in L.A. for two weeks before that horrific attack. As you mentioned, Marla, she was just walking along Lancashire Boulevard in North Hollywood. This was last Monday when a homeless man stabbed her in the back of the head with a pair of gardening shears, the four-inch blades piercing her skull. Now, in a state of shock, she kind of stumbled to a nearby restaurant and called 911, those shears still embedded in her head. Then she FaceTimed her mom, who's a psychiatric nurse in North Carolina. She FaceTimed me. I gave my typical, hey, what's up, baby girl? And the first words out of her mouth were, mom, this is serious. I've been stabbed. I didn't have time to react emotionally. I just immediately went into kind of triaging, right? My nursing brain kicked in. The long-term effects that we're looking at right now are things like balance. She has a lot of dizziness, a lot of nausea, a lot of restrictions on physical activity. So recovery is going to be long. Um, she'll come home to North Carolina with me and, and we'll do it. You know, she's going to come out of this stronger and with an incredible story. Against such a positive attitude. Now, Amy's been a foster parent for some 15 years, and she says she and Kylie have extensive experience with severely mentally ill individuals. They want the public to understand that this attack, it represents more of a social and systemic failure on behalf of sick people who need the most help. Now, that suspect now been identified as 30-year-old 30, 30 Jonathan Cole. He is now facing charges of attempted murder, murder and assault with a deadly weapon. For now, reporting live at Cedar sinai Chelsea Edwards, Fox 11 News. What? An incredibly strong mother-daughter duo. We thank Amy for speaking out, and of course, we wish her daughter a speedy recovery, and we hope she makes a full one. Chelsea, thanks so much.